Hey guys, thanks for tuning in and welcome back to the Acro Reef YouTube channel. Today in this video, I am going to be replacing the sensor on my ion director. I just got the new sensor in, so let's jump right into it and let me show you what's involved. So to kick things off, I thought it would first be a good idea to explain to you guys what the ion director does and how it has benefited me and my reef over the past few years. The ion director is a testing device that automatically tests my calcium, magnesium, potassium, sodium, and even nitrate. It works alongside a GHL dosing pump. It uses only three of the four pump heads. The fourth pump head is just a spare, which I am using to dose one of my many trace elements. This is controlled by the Proflux 4 controller, although I will say that you don't need this to control the ion director. GHL does sell a standalone version, a standalone kit, which is called the ion director standalone set. It comes bundled with a standalone dosing pump, which becomes the brain of the operation, which manages the ion D. As far as the control part of it goes, at the end of every test, I do have the ion director set up so that the Proflux 4 can automatically adjust my calcium and my magnesium dosing schedules. So for instance, if one day the ion director finds out that my calcium is too low, I have the Proflux 4 ready and programmed to automatically adjust my calcium dose so that it will add just a little bit more the ion director does do the calculations for how much of an increase or how many extra mils uh, the dosing schedule needs to add so that it allows that value to steadily climb back up to where you want it to be with regard to the benefits that i've seen since installing the ion director i will say that i really enjoy no longer having to deal with manual testing i personally feel that that is the most tedious part of this hobby so having something like the ion director manage that for me is super super convenient i also enjoy the fact that i can comfortably count on the ion director to test every day at the same time with the same level of accuracy not only that, but because the Proflux does record each and every result that the ion director gives, I could always go back and check the past readings from the ion director so I can get a better understanding of what my average consumption rate looks like, as well as make any further adjustments that I deem necessary. To prepare the sensor, the first thing I had to do was go to my kitchen to get this cup of water. This is water straight out of the faucet. It's tap water, nothing special. The reason I have to do this is because I first need to pre-soak the ion D sensor in this water for 30 minutes before I actually put the sensor to use. After 30 minutes, I took the sensor out of the water and put it to the side. Next, I carefully pulled out the controller display cabinet which held the ion director and other GHL devices. With the front cabinet now being more accessible, it was time for me to start disconnecting the inlet tubes for all three pump heads. I have to do this because in order for me to pull the old sensor out, I first have to empty out the liquids that are inside the ion director. That way I can prevent any spills. Next, I connected to my Proflux and went to the ion D settings page to run the empty measurement cell function. This is the part that actually empties the inside of the ion director. After that was done, I went ahead and disconnected the tubes that are connected to the ion D. At the back of the controller cabinet, I disconnected the other cables that were connected to the back of the device. Later, I pulled it out and loosened the sensor's locking nut to remove the old sensor and replace it with the new one. Now it was time to reconnect the cables and power it back on. I reconnected the inlet tubes for all three pumps, then connected back the waste and water sample tubes. As for the reference A and B tubes, before I can connect those, I had to prime the tubes. All it took was a quick press and hold of the buttons for pumps 2 and 3. To get the ION D ready for the new sensor, I went back to the GHL Connect app and used the Prepare Measurement Cell function. Afterwards, I waited 12 hours for the new sensor to settle in before doing my first test with it. In the meantime, I activated my sensor by typing in the serial number that was on the sensor cable sticker. Once the 12 hours passed, I went back to the app, tapped the start measurement button and waited for the results. That was basically it for the sensor replacement. 
Oh, and just to be sure that the sensor is accurate, one of the last things I like to do is fine tune the sensor by using GHL's multi-reference solution. I just take the bottle and use the ion B to test this water. Once I get my results, I use the offset feature to fine tune the results a bit more. Afterwards, I put the tube back into the tank, resume my normal water testing schedule and enjoy. Thanks guys for watching this video. If you found this video insightful or helpful in any way, go ahead and hit the thumbs up icon and subscribe to help the channel and keep more videos flowing. Until next time, be well and take care.